In the last video, we created a basic string that we could start playing with by sending force impulses to it. However, this isn't the most realistic means of interaction with a physical object, and so we can do better. So what I'm going to do now is create a position input module in the MIM script, and create a contact interaction between this position input and a mass of the string. I'm going to define a certain stiffness, uh, damping and threshold coefficient for this contact interaction. And we're going to compile it into a new GenDSP code. So we now refer to the new gen patch, and we can see that a second input has been created in this patch. So now we want to create a system to control this position input in the max patch. So we'll use a slider, we'll scale the values to between minus 1 and plus 1, and more importantly we'll change this output value into an audio rate signal using sig, and we'll want to make sure the output is very smooth, so I'll be using the slide object to do that. So now we effectively have a contact point with the string. So using the slider it's hard to excite it this way, but we can actually start to do some interesting things nevertheless. The next thing we could do is try and create a plucking interaction with the string. So I'm going to create a third input, a second position input, and instead of a contact interaction I'm going to use the NL pluck interaction and decide that I want to pluck the 30 second mass from the string with this. So now we compile the gen code. And use it inside the max patch. This should create a third input. And we can see it there. And I'm going to use exactly the same structure to control the position of the third input. and we have the plucking interaction. So I'm just going to move the contact mass out of the way. This is a nice clean pluck. And we can actually combine both of these interactions using the contact to place obstacles in the way of the string. Another thing that we might want to do is set up a bowing interaction with the string. So in this case I'm going to comment out the plucking interaction and replace it with an NL bow. I'll decide that I want to bow the 38th mass of the string with the third input. Now parameters for bowing interactions can be quite slippery so I'm actually going to create labeled parameters for them so that if we need to modify them later we can do it directly within the max patch. So now we replace the gen patch with the new one and let's see if anything happens. We can actually see on the audio meter that something is going on but it's a very low level. So what I'm going to do is multiply the audio output by 100. So now something is going on, it's not very clean we'll actually use more smoothing on the position value here since bowing interactions are very sensitive to this. So this is starting to be cleaner. So we'll zoom in on the motion so we can actually see what's going on. And 
and that's not bad. Finally, what I'm going to do is create a way to modify the nonlinear damping dynamically, so this NLZ parameter. And this basically defines how hard you're bowing on the structure. So this is kind of soft. If I bring it down some more, it's very soft bowing. And if I take it up very high, I'll have a very kind of screechy bowing something quite hard and harsh. And so that's the basics of striking, plucking and bowing virtual physical structures.